Hello everyone, uh, this is our first monthly update of the year which will be covering what we did in December. Um, before I begin however, I just want to say thank you all so much for the support in the last video. At the time of recording it hit around 12,000 views and we've noticed it just hits the uh, uh, algorithm again as well which is amazing. Um, it's gained us hundreds of new Discord members and boosted the Patreon massively so thank you all so much for that. So, as this is the first time doing this type of video, we'll be doing a little trial trial and error. So please let us know what you think in the comments below. We had four updates this month, starting with the creature update, followed by the world update, followed by the code update, and finally back to creature again. And we'll be dividing this update into dragons, creatures, world, and other. So starting with the dragons, uh, we had quite a productive week, starting with the first dossier image of the Noctura. Uh, we then began to draw our 3D model sheet for the Valad, which will not be in the tech demo, but will help us in the future to model the dragon quickly and with ease. Over the course of December, Ek and myself streamed the creation of the Kirin, starting from just a cube into our lovely dear dragon that we all know. With its base skin, uh, we even did a stream, uh, a stream suggested skin, of course it was a zebra skin. Unfortunately, we did not get around to doing animations because X shortly afterwards got very ill and is only just recovering from it. Next month, all animations will be finished and it should be added to the tech demo. The Arduin received a new skin which looks very good if I don't say so myself. The Icy Crown was released early into the month allowing players to test and mess around with it. While we found a number of new bugs, um, these have either been fixed or are actively being worked on. The Ice Breath and Ice Ball attack are just retextured for our abilities. This will change later into development, but not for the tech demo. For now though, the Icy Crown is a better flyer than Vulcan, being able to fly faster and turn harder. However, it does have less health than the Vulcan and is far slower on land. Flight has been somewhat reworked, well, more of an edit really. Diving is now faster and you'll be able to keep the speed for a longer period of time. The turning circle for flying was also improved so that you don't just turn on the spot. We also came to the conclusion that the aerial combat for dragons did not feel great and was very difficult to master. So we added a new lock-on system for flying only. When a dragon um, is flying it will be able to click middle mouse. Um, this will zoom in and lock and allow the lock-on feature. Uh, it will slowly uh, create a sphere around the target. Uh, if this is, if the line of sight is broken, the lock will also be broken. Players will not be able to lock onto ground creatures or use their breath ability with the lock on. This is going to be tweaked to make it work better depending on the creature using it, and a visual overhaul will be um, done. At the moment, it's just a placeholder. Fire slash Ice Breath now is able to be aimed properly with both variations, leaving effects on the ground for a little bit of extra spice. Finally, we have reworked the movement, so now everything should be moving at the correct speeds, rather than looking like tiny missiles running around. This will be tweaked when we get more feedback from developers and the public Patreon testing. We have been working heavily on redesigning some creatures and following our new creature guidelines uh, that we've laid out in our game design document. Nika has remade the emu creature which originally looked like this, but now it looks like this. Viterius and myself messed around with some new designs for a AI mount which will eventually in the future be in the game. Uh, this creature does not yet have a name. So in the comments below, I'll leave a message saying name the reptile mount, where you lot can post names and ideas, and the one we like the most will get a key for the tech demo early. Uh, the carnivorous repti reptilian mount will live in jungles and rocky terrain, being able to climb over rock faces with little to no effort or climb large trees. When tamed, this creature will be able to have two separate saddles, a single seater and a double seater. A single seater saddle uh, will not affect the movement of the creature, however a double seater will remove the ability to climb trees and vertical surfaces. As a warm up to the Kirin streams, Ek decided to make one of our fish and animate it, which took around an hour and a half. 
as of the last video, we currently have two new animators that are currently under um, trial. Both of them are doing fantastic work. With one of the, uh, with one of them doing the scathe, which is our form of raptor, and the other one is working on the antelope to make it feel better. Noah has been very hard at work adding the human settlements as we felt they needed a few patch up jobs. Starting with the docks, a number of different buildings were added such as a lighthouse, guard towers, houses and of course some placeholder boats. Further up the road is a small farmstead with some windmills and a stable area. Finally we get to the largest human settlement on the map, this will eventually be the only safe zone on the map which will have a few trading locations as well but for now it's a um, place for humans to eventually hide or loot uh, we will have the lower town which is filled with fields and farmhouses the second layer of buildings is mainly covered with houses a town hall for people to meet up or do speeches in along with several barns and finally we reach the lord's castle with a fully furnished uh, with fully furnished internals a small farmstead and far more to explore. Uh, we're in the process of adding new settings so that people with lower NPCs will be able to lower settings down and get higher performance along with sound options to increase or lower down the sounds and different screen resolutions. We've been working on the team system now um, which is working much better than it used to However, it still needs a few minor tweaks to make work better, and we need to add a little bit of polish to it as well. One of our largest features is our reworked spawn screen, which has been moved from this old version, which was very basic, to something a little more clean and advanced, which shows off the gender and skins. Um, we will eventually be adding a better background with some forests and bushes, along with um, recording this during the day and not the night time, because it doesn't look as good. Sorry about that. And finally, for those that noticed, we also added a spectator cam, which will eventually only be accessible for admins and mods, who will remove any troublemakers that the tech demo uh, will eventually have. But for now, everyone can use it, and we'll be using that for trailers or more content. So, as we wrap up the video, we're going to show off the most recent fan art made over on the Discord in the past month and a bit. These are amazing pieces of artwork, so thank you very much. I love some of these. Once again, though, thank you very much for the support. Without you lot, this would not be possible. If you want to help support us or get your hands on the work in progress tech demo early, head over to our Patreon and become a Wyvern tier or above. Uh, however, you joining our Discord and spreading the word is support enough. Please don't feel like you have to um, go and support us monetarily. It's not needed. Um, honestly, your support is more than enough. Uh, we will hopefully be getting out the tech demo for free in March. However, if we have to delay it, we will delay it. Um, we're not going to make the same mistakes we've made in the past or the other um, developer groups have as well. Um, also, if you are a content creator and would like to do videos on this, please head over to our Discord and contact Clack Knight. Um, that will be myself. Um, I can hand out keys and we can also discuss things if you would like. But for now, I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and a happy New Year's. I intend on eating a lot of food over the next few days. Um, I'm looking forward to answering any questions you may have in the comments below. And fingers crossed, uh, we'll get the algorithm again. Um, but have a good rest, and have a good rest of your day.